Hi, I'm Meg. I'm one of the threatened species keepers here at Hillsville Sanctuary. And today I am here with one of our international conservation partners, Dr. Caroline from the Ornithological Society of Polynesia. Welcome to Hillsville Sanctuary. Oh, thank you very much, Meg. Um, I'm very pleased to be here and thank you to Zoo Victoria to give me this opportunity, which is great. Can you tell us a little bit about the work of um, Sop Manu and what they do with the birds in French Polynesia? Of course. Um, so in, Sop Manu is as to fast um, ecological crisis in French Polynesia because we have half of the plant species which are going extinct and um, maybe 70% uh, of our endemic birds which are on the verge of extinction. Okay. And between them, we have 10 critically endangered species. So the, the, the small country is very large ge geographically because it's 118 islands on a territory which is larger than Europe. Out of the species that you work with uh, out in French Polynesia, what's your favourite bird to work with uh, in your native land? I think it's the Tahiti monarch <laughs> because it's, um, it's not a sexy bird, you know, it's black <laughs> when it's adult. Uh, but what happened to him is that uh, it's, he spent um, more than several million of years isolated from predators. So make, that, that make it, made him very curious, very naive, and uh, to protect him is to protect uh, uh, the innocence of the world. Really, yeah. he's looking at you, he's perched at two centimeters of you, and look, you, <laughs> you, you, you cannot resist, you know? <laughs> Yeah, and what are some of the threats that have been facing and some of the work? I know you've been doing some work largely around the little fire ants for the yes. Tahiti monarch, which has been successful. Yeah, this, this bird is facing 10 of the worst invasive species of the planet. And so one of my success was to uh, remove the little fire yeah. ants at least from 20 hectares. So mm -hmm. we are sure we succeed to eradicate them yeah. from a cliff that was um, infested of this ant and at the basis of the cliffs you were having free territory of monarch and they're all gone because the bite is very painful even for humans. You yeah. can die when you are bitten if you are allergic. Being here in Australia, you spent a little bit of time seeing our wildlife, seeing our birds. What What's your favourite Australian bird that you've seen in your time here? I think you have a blue one, uh, very small, with a tail like blue. that. Yeah, and the black. A superb fairy wren. Okay, so this one is probably very nice because it's advocating kindly what a bird could be innocent, could be <laughs> near you and could be, uh, and is much more beautiful than the Tahiti monarch. But <laughs> so you, you have the chance to, to have this little ambassador uh, we which can go to every garden and say to people, look, I am innocent, protect me. <laughs> and it's nice. Uh, that's my favorite, but I love the sound of the bird here because in Tahiti you have no more sound. You have the, what I call the rat silence because there are uh, many, many rats, much more than yeah. uh, the, the proportion of rats living in Tahiti or Marquesas Island are 10, 10 times more than in Europe and yeah. so on. Wow. And so you have this, this, this right silence everywhere and the, the forest are, uh, are silent, silent forest, it's awful. So here, when I heard a bird <laughs> singing, that's my new favorite bird. Thank you, uh, Zo <laughs> Victoria, for all what you are doing for us at your international level. It's fantastic to receive this support. And what I say, it's um, uh, in French Polynesia, we are only three people working for conservation in, for these 10 critically endangered species. Imagine how we have been happy to receive this help. <laughs> Thank you very much.